Hey everybody, I am back again. It's been a really long time I know, as evidenced by the fact that I have like 10 books to talk about that I do really, really, really want to talk about. So we're going to just go ahead and dive on in into what I've been reading over the past like month or so, basically since last time what I did a video. Um, first off, um, these aren't necessarily in order. This is just the order I happen to put my books in because I don't remember. So, um, and I'm too lazy to look it up on Goodreads. So I got um, an advanced copy of Silent Alarm by Jennifer Benash, which came out last month in March. And it's a book about a school shooting, but told from the shooter's sister's point of view. So, um, so it's a really interesting book to, you know, go through, um, to see it from that perspective, to see it from that close, um, kind of connection to the horrific events because you live with this person you didn't even realize that um anything was really wrong you know or or that it would have escalated that far and um and so jennifer banash wrote such a, a wonderfully uh you know haunting insightful poignant book um about this and uh you know most of it is takes place after the event. It's probably the first like 25 pages or so is the actual event itself. And then everything after that, is, you know, the rest of the book is just about what happens in that aftermath, you know, with, uh, you know, the media, your fellow classmates, teachers, you know, the people in your community and, and your own family, of course. And it's just such a, uh, it's such a, such a wonderful, you know, it's really weird to say, to say that about a book like this, but I mean, it's, it's such a wonderfully written book and, um, and it's just really amazing. And I honestly urge you to read this book and I, for actually, I'm just going to go ahead and just say for the rest of these books, read them as well because they're fantastic as well. So uh, instead of having to go on and on about, you know, letting you know that I recommend this, but I recommend all of these books. They're fantastic. So um, go ahead, go get this book. It is really good. And it's a fairly quick read too, which is nice. Um, I also read Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Ambertali. And I have to tell you that this is probably my favorite book of the year so far, maybe even ever. Um, because it is such a fantastically written book, of course, and just, it's like the cutest romantic story that you could ever like do I mean I, I it's just it's awesome it's um it manages to be so witty and so real and so romantic and so uh you know questioning of um having to come out and having to um deal with people's perceptions of you both you know, before you come out, and then, of course, after you come out, and, um, you know, and all of the turmoil that kind of happens with that, and I use the word turmoil, but it's really, it's nothing, you know, terribly bad happens in this book. It's definitely written for a modern time where there is a lot of, um, you know, a lot of acceptance going on. Of course, there is some negativity, in the book as well, but it's not, you know, about like, you know, he gets bullied or anything like that. You know, there's really, you know, it's not about that. It's about other things. So, um, but it's such a good book. It's such a, um, quick read. It's, I mean, like I never wanted to put it down. I wanted to just keep reading. Like, and I said in my review that, um, there are, uh, emails in between Simon and his love interest who he doesn't know, um, who does go to his school, but they don't know each other. And they use fake names to correspond with each other through email. I could read their emails. Like I, I could just read a whole book of their emails, honestly, because they are so cute and adorable together. And it was just fantastic. So, um, this book is out now. It came out earlier this month, April 7th. And I urge you all to go get a copy. It is so, so, so good. Okay. And there's so many wonderful people who 
blurbed it. Andrew Smith, who wrote Grasshopper Jungle. Um, Tim Verdurl, author of Better Nate Than Ever, which I haven't actually read his book, but I think he's really cool. So um, <laughs> there's that. And of course, Alex Sanchez, who wrote the Rainbow Boys trilogy, you know, 15 years ago when GOT literature was kind of just starting out. And um, they're just starting to be in the mainstream, really. And um, so it was really nice to see a blurb from him. And honestly, I mean, it's just a really good book. Really, really, really good book. Go get it. Um, I also got to read, I had got advanced copies of May Count. It's two books that are coming out this year. From the Notebooks of a Middle, middle School Princess, which comes out in May, May 20th, I think. And um, Royal Wedding, which I also want to keep calling Forever Princess, even though that was the that was book 10, and this is book 11. Um, for some reason, <laughs> I just do. I don't know why. And um, this comes out June 2nd, so they come out together. Um, I read Ro Royal Wedding first, which was really interesting because this deals with um, kind of like a whole month or so in Mia's life, you know, and then flashes forwards like a month and a half or something, you know, with the last ten, last 10 pages. And, um, and so you get to see everything that's going on in, in Mia's life. And, um, it's, uh, she's seven years older, I think, seven, eight years older than she was in Forever Princess. And, um, she's still the same Mia, but you can definitely tell that she's matured and, um, you know, it's, it's just so good to be, uh, you know, be reading Mia's diary again, because it's just, I love these characters so much, and I, I love, I love revisiting them, and, and especially now with this new entry in the book, it's, gonna, it's simply fantastic, and part of the book, you get to see, um, Mia's side, and it's the week of, like, May 6th, or something like that, and I'm gonna go put this down. I'm done talking about it. <laughs> um, and that's when this book takes place, is the week of May 6th. And this deals with uh, Mia's long-lost sister. And so this is told from her point of view. And um, and so it's kind of like Mia as well, because Mia wrote in diaries, and she's writing in notebooks because she doesn't have one specific diary. She just writes in whatever she has on hand, which usually ends up being a school notebook. And... Um, and this is also the first book that Meg Cabot has also illustrated, too. And it's not, you know, there's not a whole lot going on. You know, there's illustrations every so often. And um, not necessarily, like, on every single page or anything like that. Um, but it's such a, but it's a nice touch. And so, um, but this is such a really quick read. I read it in less than 24 hours. So I just basically just, like, started reading it. And then I got, like, halfway through. And then I had to go to bed. And then I woke up the next day and read the rest of it. And it was so cool to read it, and especially right after Royal Wedding. So I'm probably going to go back and read the part of Royal Wedding because you get to see Olivia and Mia um, interact with each other. And so it's, it's really interesting seeing it from Olivia's point of view. And I want to go back and reread Mia's point of view, now having read Olivia's, and, you know, see what was going on, you know, see what was going on and that sort of thing. So, um... Yeah, so I'm really excited, and especially since this is actually supposed to be the start of a new series. And, um, and so hopefully we will get to see more of Mia and Michael and the whole gang um, in future installments of this book, because of this series, I guess. So I'm excited. Those are great books. Get them when they come out. Um, <laughs> I was also reading Solitaire by Alice Oseman, which I remember talking about in my previous video, and I actually um, talked about it erroneously, because I said that I, cause I thought it was told from five or six different people's perspectives, because it says on the front, this is the story of Tori, Michael, Becky, Lucas, Charlie, and the year that changed everything. So I was thinking, oh, well, there's five names mentioned. This is all from their point of views. No. Um, because this says, this is the story of, and it mentions five people. And then on the back, it says, this is actually the story of Tori Spring. So, um, I need to ask you to move Mr. Kitty Cat. He's trying to knock my laptop over. Um, and, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. But it was still a really good book. It was really interesting. And, um, 
it was it took a turn that I was not expecting and um, with what was going on and yeah it, so it's just a really interesting different kind of contemporary book and um, and fairly refreshing I think so um, so I would definitely recommend it it came out last month go get it all right and then I think I just have two three books left Geek Girl by Holly Small, which I'm not entirely sure if I'm pronouncing the name right or not. Um, but this was actually um, compared to um, books by Louise Renison and Meg Cabot, which I can definitely see. I read the book. I was laughing out loud throughout the entire book. It was hilarious and such a and such a good read to have because I've been reading a lot of dark books. <laughs> and um, and so I was just like, I really, really, really need something light and fluffy. So I picked this up because I'd been wanting to read it, and I had actually just gotten the sequel, which comes out in July. And this came out in February, so they're fast-tracking it. Because I think in the UK, this, this was originally published in the UK, and I think they're up to the fourth book now this year. So... I think HarperCollins US is like trying to just like get them all out like now. So, um, so we'll probably end up getting, you know, two this year and two next year and then maybe even two the following year. So, um, which I'd be, I'd be happy with. And, um, so I'm really excited to read the sequel to it. It's such an interesting book. It's like a, it's like a really funny, um, version of, um, Violet on the Runway by Melissa Walker. If anyone remembers that series, um, and this is also, like I said, it's published in the UK, so um, Solitaire actually also takes place in the UK as well. Um, and it's just really funny. It's a really funny, light, quick read. And um, I adored it. It was so good. And before I was reading my current book, which I'll talk about in a minute, I read The Truth Commission by Susan Juby, which I'm on the blog tour for. Um, I will be posting a huge post with a review, an interview, and a fun little game of Two Truths and a Lie um, to go along with it. And I think maybe a giveaway. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. Um, I love Susan's books so much, and they are simply fabulous. And they're so, they're always so interesting. They're always written so wonderfully. And, um, and this was no exception. It was such an interesting book and it had footnotes in it which i love footnotes so much i really 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 do and um and they were really fun because that's what footnotes are for i feel like they're they're there to be fun honestly and um do kind of little asides and that sort of thing so um but it's it's just such an interesting book and and deals with um a lot of issues and deals with you know, and of course deals with the truth because it's the truth commission and, um, and, and what happens with the truth and how the truth can free you, how the truth can, um, inspire you, how the truth can do any number of things. And it's just, I mean, it's just fantastic. And I, you know, was so glad that I was given a chance to read this book that they, uh, you know, Invited me to be on the blog tour and sent me a review copy. It's such a good book. So, finally, 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 I'm currently reading King by Ellen O., which is the final book in a trilogy, and it came out last month, and it is so far so good. I'm, like, mm, about a third of the way through, and um, it's fantastic. It's a fantasy book, and um, just honestly fantastic. So if you haven't been reading it, go ahead and read all three books back to back to back because it's just simply fantastic. They're such good books and um, I highly recommend them, like I said, about every single other book. So I will go ahead and stop talking right now and I will see you guys hopefully sooner than the time in between the last video and this one. All right, bye-bye.